Hi everyone, in this video I will be reviewing the Flycam 3000B that you see here. It's not a secret that this Flycam and a lot of other budget stabilizers are based on the Glidecam HD series. So why would someone buy something like this low budget Flycam 3000MB when you can get the best thing that there is? The price difference between the Flycam 3000MB and the Glidecam HD2000 is absolutely massive. And this is why a lot of people consider buying something like this stabilizer right here. Before we go into the actual stabilizer, I just wanted to quickly show you the bag that it came in. So it's a padded uh, zip bag with a custom cut insert that fits all the parts of the glide cam inside it. It's quite a nice bag to have your fly cam in. Uh, this is not something that glide cam HD series comes with. So the top part of the fly cam 3000MB is pretty much identical to the one found on uh, glide cam HD series. The only difference is that it comes with its own quick release plate as standard where this quick release plate that I have on the glide cam is something that I bought as an extra. Moving down a little bit, we have the actual handle with the bearings. The really important part of the stabilizer is right here. The handle has a foam grip, which is really nice because it also has some texture to it. So you kind of feel more confident when you grip it. The uh, Glidecam HD 4000 has a grip handle as well, but it's plain. And then moving all the way to the bottom, we have the weight here. Again, very similar design to the Glidecam HD series. We have two knobs on the bottom there that let us extend the weight in and out on each side. Then we have a bunch of weights on either side there. So overall, this feels very similar to my Glidecam HD 4000. There isn't much difference to it at all. In fact, some of the parts like this grip actually feel better than the one found on the Glidecam there. The addition of the padded back and the quick release adapter are also very nice bonuses and for the price it's hard to fold this thing. So visually everything is really good with the Flycam 3000MB but what is the most important thing in a stabilizer is actually how it works. Well I've shot some test footage with this very own stabilizer the other day when I was testing one of my lenses and I'll post some footage from that test in this video so you can judge yourself. So as you've seen there, pretty decent results can be achieved with the Flycam 3000MB. It's a nice stabilizer to start with. It can handle anything from Blackmagic pocket camera to a really big DSLR. I think the maximum is 3.5 kilograms, which is just under eight pounds. So that's quite a heavy camera right there. So this pretty much concludes my review. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in one of my next videos.